and you were and as you were growing up, who were you kind of like tuned in with? Like who are you listening to? Like who do you feel like were were your inspirations? Like um, oh my son Don was going crazy. Yeah, Boogie was going crazy. He was coming up. Mm. My son was going crazy. I ain't gonna lie. It was a few other niggas, but those the bros. So they was going crazy. Spot lit, going to clubs, live, active. Bitches coming back to the mansion, getting fucked. Or so you always been kind of in tune and 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 known the guys from from the label. From yeah, those are my guys. And it was cool. And and when I had love up here, um, back in I think it was like back in May. One of the things I told him that I I said I I always respect about Don is that Don always showed love back to back to the new yeah. artists. So like obviously he was on his project. Obviously y'all got a record together. I thought that that was really cool because you don't always see that too much with a lot of no, with a, a lot fact. of previous so, generation artists. You feel me? No guys, what fact. you gonna say? Certain niggas like certain niggas is leader hood and don't do features with young niggas no no mm. more. Like certain niggas be certain old niggas be bugging. Is, do you think it's just because like they're gone and they just don't want to you know come back or probably or they probably scared to come back? I don't know how niggas be feeling. How did that record with with you Don and uh and Be Love happen? How did that how did that come about? We went to this. I think it was it was Don Stu Shazin. Mm. I told Be Love pull up. He pulled up with me. Then we just shot that shit type shit. Real easy. Yeah. So those two are those now two. That's, and it's so crazy because that video that that song that has mad old. That shit ain't a winner. We ain't, that wasn't no previous shit type shit. So y'all been had so y'all been had yeah, that, that, that in the talk. Do they kind of like give you advice, kind of like help you move through this as you start to grow as an artist? Like have they kind of kind of been like those, those those mentors to you in the game since they've been, yeah, they've both yeah, been that's doing a it. Fact. Cause my son, I ain't gonna lie, my son be love go crazy in the booth. So when he go crazy, I ain't gonna lie, I be want to go crazy. Cause he be he be. Be, be bugging, I ain't gonna lie. You've been around Dawn him for a while, a, yeah. Dawn been going crazy too. That's a fact. How long? How long you know be love for? Probably like five years, six years. Okay, so this goes way. This go. This is deeper than just you know. Yeah, I knew Dawn for like ten. 10 really? Years. Yeah. So Dawn watch you like grew up and whatnot. That's a fact. That's gotta be kind of cool, man, to like see that. Cause that's the type of shit that I love to see in New York. Cause you know, like we was just talking about how like people will leave and not come back. Like yeah. we need. I think we need more of that. You feel me? Because it shows one that like th there's unity in like different generations of New York artists that we don't always get to see um, a lot of that people complain about because you know people like look at Atlanta and people really uh, be like, oh look at Atlanta, everybody in Atlanta fuck with each other. Like yeah, oh. that's a fact. Them niggas glued together. Them niggas not nasty. Bronx niggas is nasty. 